Please don't kill me. Hello? Why shouldn't I? I'm new to this, man. That's what everybody says. No, you're gonna kill me and you're gonna see that I have a level 3 dog pack, bro. All right, fine. Go about your business. What is going on, my beautiful peoples? Today we have another Streets of Tarkov video. I'm so excited. I've actually seriously been really enjoying Streets. It is the most fun I've had with Tarkov since I first started playing it five or six wipes ago. So we have kind of a short raid for you here, but it gets pretty intense at some spots and I just thought it was a really good raid to showcase what it's like to play on streets. So if you like the video, make sure to give it a like, maybe comment on what your favorite part was, and subscribe, because a lot of the people that watch my videos aren't subbing, and you do not want to miss this high quality octane action. I try to upload once every three days or so, and uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. Let's get into it. <laughs> There's nothing on him anymore. Right. Yeah, let's go yeah. ahead and check in here. There's tape, some pliers. There's file cabinets. Zip a lighter. Ooh, I need those pliers. You son of a bitch. Uh, oh, it's just, nope, nope. I needed those pliers. You on them? I'll leave them right here in the top of the right. Thing here. Okay. There you go. Fucker. Got a scab outside. Be careful. You didn't leave him there. You fuck. I took him. Oops. Please don't die already. <laughs> that was close. Do I need... Yeah, I need to use that. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. That was good. You good? Do you need anything? No, I'll be alright. Give me those fucking flyers. Oh, here. I can't even remember what I need them for. I just know they're very important. Where is that fucking bullshit ass scab? He's oh. straight out there. Ooh, buckwheat. I don't know what that's for, but everybody I've seen is picking it up. There must be some sort of trader for something later. No, it's buckwheat. Why wouldn't you pick it up? Well, you can't eat it. It's got to be used for a craft or some sort of thingy, my bob. No, it's just buckwheat, but it's great. You should always pick it up. Almost healed up. Yeah, he's right there. How is that a miss? Wow, what a bitch. He ran. He was like, fuck that. <laughs> How are you doing on, like, food and stuff? Uh, I'm good. Let me see here. Did he come back right. out? No, he didn't. All right. I'm good, yo. Okay, I'm just gonna chug this apple juice and then we'll chase after that scav. Yeah! Oh, I'm doing that rubber banding. Yeah, just- Oh, God! Yeah, just try to stay in cover. And just hold still. Until it stops. Uh, I was behind cover, but he still got me. Like, dead? Oh, God. I was rubber banding all over the place. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> god damn it! 
Did you re- you insured this whole kit? Oh god, no! You take it. <laughs> okay, I was like. <laughs> Is he like right out there? Yeah. Dude, what are you made of? Oh my god. He's a ghost. Oh, Oh my god, die! Jesus fuck! Like a fucking boss or something, or is that just a scav? I think that's just that must have been an elite scav, unless my shots were terribly inaccurate. No, you're hitting them. Reload. Yeah. I don't think he had any armor. There's no way. Yep, he had no armor on him. And there's uh, 18 players. Pretty good. Yeah, that's the map count. Yeah, for the most part. Holy shit. Fuck. Tarkov with you, Jake, is I die so early on that by the time you get all the way through your raid, my character's back up to, like, full hydration. Yeah, and then when you die, you get to watch me, like, play almost a full raid, and then I die at the very end. Yeah, it's great. It's a good cycle. It's, it's a good time. Is that really not... Okay. I was like, let me pick that up, damn it. Uh, I know I have more food, don't I? Is it just this? I don't really want to eat that. But I will. Nom nom nom. Oh, and I saw some people finally got the gym built. The gym? In the hideout. That's what that crumbling wall is. Oh. And it's and it's pretty sick, dude. You like go in there. And you tap use, and your character literally gets on the the bench and starts lifting the weights, and you have to click like at accurate times. So it's like a mini game of you lifting weights, oh and it God. and it like 
gives you a pretty... Like, it's a pretty good way to level up strength and endurance. Which is... You actually have a way to do that now, then, yeah. Yeah, so... It was pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. But when you're in the gym, are you losing hydration and energy? Yep. Yeah, so you gotta you gotta keep an eye on that as well. See, I knew I had more food. I got a fucking Tashanka right here. Oh god, I need I need one of those so bad. I luckily found my last one. I just need the Iskras, and I haven't found any of the Croutons yet. I'm just gonna keep picking all this shit up and using it immediately. <laughs> Remember the last wipe? I had this boot thing done like on day one. Yeah, the food thing has always been a bitch for me. It's definitely worse this wipe. See, this is what I mean, though. This is why we should be playing the streets. Like, I literally have just walked down one hallway, and I'm already, like, fucking mid-maxing. Pretty awesome. CJ, this is how you make money in Tarkov. You do exactly what you have here. Fill those last two spaces, whatever the hell's in there. And then you just fucking get the hell out. Yeah. Like, literally just sprint for an exit and leave. Yeah, the only reason I'm taking longer to loot is... Well, one, because I'm mid-maxing, but also... I kind of want the herd to thin itself out a little bit. Oh good, there's a drop down. I knew that. Because I don't want to be running through the map looking for my extract when there's, like, almost an entire full lobby. Well, that's the best part. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, let's get rid of those. Ooh. Can't wait until, like, all the, uh, the frame issues are, like, fully ironed out out of this map, because it's already, like such a cool map. Like, because of this map, I'm more excited to play this game than I have been since it I first started playing it. It's a pretty cool map so far. Yeah, dude, it's fucking huge. Like, if... wouldn't suggest watching it tonight, because if you got time tonight, I would suggest watching that movie that I was telling you about on my YouTube, but, uh... When you do get the time, check out my streets tour video. It's like almost an hour long, and it's just me walking through the map on an offline raid. It's so good. And even in that video, I didn't I didn't find everything. I didn't have time. Jesus. How long is the How long are the uh, the raids on this map? Uh, 50 minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's the longest timer we have so far. Alright, what do I got? Uh, courtyard, damaged house, evacuation zone, kill mob street. I, the only one that I know of is courtyard, and that's, a uh, that's one of those ones that's not always up. Oh, good. Oh, shit. Steps are so loud. K, 
can't tell if they're above or below me. I think they're above. <laughs> oh, shit. They are not. Hey, Jake, they're below you. Oh my god. Good place, good place. Stop your bleed. Oh fuck. I'm literally trapped. Oh, is there no way off that roof? Yeah, I thought there was. There isn't. Oh boy. Uh, why would you do that? Something makes me think he's not gonna charge you. Well, he has his shotgun, so like, if he was smart, he would. If he was smart, he'd wait for you to, like, forget. That's forget true, him. yeah, I don't, I don't really have a way out, so if he knows I'm up here. Yeah. But I'm also making, like, plenty of healing noises. So you think that would have got him to come out by now? He might have ran off to you, maybe you hit him with your Mosin shot. The best case scenario is that he thinks that scav he killed is me. Yeah, well you can always jump off the roof. Suka yobnuli nasheva! Yeah, it was just a scav. But yeah, like, see, that was an instance where the audio is amazing. Like, that scav is, like, three stories below me, but I knew exactly where he was. <laughs> yeah. I think my best bet right now would be to charge all the way down the stairs and just try to get out of the building.
I think I hear him coming. Out alive. I killed all three of them. Did you really? Yeah, dude. They went outside, and I saw them, and I literally, with three bullets, like, just one-tapped all of them. Fuck. Uh, it was the most satisfying shit. <laughs> like, right after you said, I'll, I'll be right back, I literally went like, Because ah! I killed all of them. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. It is. It was. It was very exciting. They were shooting at another scav, and I just took him out. You are absolutely going to be reported for hacking. <laughs> yeah, be like, what the fuck, man? We all just dropped. You, uh, you recorded that? Oh, yeah. I've been recording this whole time just in case anything exciting happened. Good. Because that way I can make a easy, you know, quick Tarkov video, since the, the, um, stalker ones being a whore. Good idea. God, they all have so much shit that I want, but... You're only at 30.5. You can, you got some more room. I hear footsteps. Oh, it's a scab. <laughs> and he was hurt. Six, seven. Idiot. Yeah, they buffed the penetration power of PS and M855 for the starter okay, weapons. Yeah, it's not like a lot, but it is helpful. I mean, it didn't really matter there because I shot him once in the face, but that's why uh, starter weapons are doing better against Packas now. Yeah, that sniper spot is OP as fuck. Cool. Okay, just in case, could you do me a huge favor? Maybe. Can you find out where the damaged house and excavation zone is?
I don't think it's over here, but I'm gonna go over here anyway. Because I know there's a crane extract over here. What are, you, what are you looking for? Excavation zone in the damaged house. One second. Oh boy. What's up? Oh, streets. Nice. Yeah. Alright, so damaged house. I know it's gonna be hard to describe for you because you haven't really played these maps, but just do your best. Damaged house is next to the cinema, which is next to the ventilation shaft. Okay, I actually think I know where the cinema is. So yeah, it's just down like an alleyway to the left, to the left side of the cinema. Okay. Excavation zone. Ex excavation zone. Ex ex hmm. I'm too high to say that word right now. Hell yeah. The the other one is next to the sewer. Wow. The other one's next to the sewer. Yep. Move. Here. Which is next to Clap's crane. <laughs> no, thank you. We're not, not interested. interested. Set up first. But neither of us are interested. I'm gonna be pretty upset if I die, but at the same time, this was a really exciting raid for me. Me too. You missed it, Craig. Michael died almost immediately in our spawn from a scav, but it wasn't entirely his fault. We did rubber band a little bit. Hmm. But um, then I was looting in a corridor and it got pushed by what I thought was just one player. And I was hurt pretty bad. I relocated because I somewhat knew where I was going, got into a sniper spot and just waited. And eventually they came outside. I realized it was three of them. And with literally three bullets, I just pop, 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 all dead. It was so it was satisfying. Like hacking. Hacking. Yeah, yeah, Michael's said he's, he's pretty sure I'm probably going to get reported for that. Well, for hacking, you know. Oh, the smoke is up. I think I can get out. I would assume. Hell yeah, dude! First successful streets raid, and this is the courtyard extract. Hi, YouTube. Oh, did I get you out? Michael got him out. You did, you helped. I did good. Go, Michael.